Hey guys, welcome to another episode of CUDA Education. Today we are going to talk about um, swap chain recreation and changing the window um, window size on your computer screen. So everyone knows that Vulkan is concerned with generating computer graphics to your screen, right? That's one, one part of Vulkan. So you run your Vulkan application and you get a window on your screen, just like this, with a triangle. Now the user takes his mouse and he resizes the window to this. And this is our new triangle right here. This is our new triangle. So notice that the dimensions of this triangle is different from this triangle. And in order for this to happen, in order for Vulcan to successfully process all of what, what has happened here, there's a series of events that take place. So initially, we have a swap chain, which in previous tutorials I've discussed is a series of images um, lined up in a queue waiting to be presented to the screen, right? Upon resizing this window, all of a sudden, this swap chain is no longer valid. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to destroy this swap chain and create a new swap chain create a new swap chain that has these size, uh, that, that has images for, for this triangle or for this size triangle that could fit into this window. So that is the topic of tutorial number 10. So let me, uh, so that is the topic of tutorial number 10. I'll put a link uh, in the description below and what it what it basically goes through is the code that um, it discusses the code in Vulcan that you need in order to gracefully destroy the old swap chain, create a new swap chain, and um, get uh, images that are appropriate for the window size. Now, the the two other things I want to discuss: the windowing. Uh, of your application, the, the process that handles the windows uh, in your application is, um, is something called GLFW. So GLFW, right, GLFW, GLFW is the application that manages the window. Okay, so when the user decides to resize the window, it is GLFW that tells Vulkan. So GLFW will tell Vulkan, hey, there is a window resize. All right, so um, GLFW, or maybe I'll just... Uh, So GLFW communicates to Vulcan that the window has been resized, okay? So a process needs to happen where GLFW notifies Vulcan that the window has been resized and we need to do some processing as a result. So because of that, we have to Vulcan has to destroy old swap chain and recreate a new swap chain. Okay, 
So that's one of the things that has to be done. You have to gracefully destroy the old swap chain and recreate the new swap chain. All right. Now, there may also be situations where um, something is going on with Vulcan and um, there has to be so there's something going on with the swap chain and in Vulcan, uh, there are applications, there, there are codes that basically the, 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 the Vulcan API will, will, will give to you to say there's something wrong with the swap chain images. There's something going on, um, you know, and your, your application has to manage that. So this is more dealing with the swap chain side of the equation where there's something going on with the swap chain. And you as the application developer has to be aware of it and has to be able to to handle it. So we'll just we'll just call this uh, swap chain error codes. OK, so um, th this is in Vulcan. So. The important thing to understand is that GLFW manages the windowing system. So when the user changes the size of the window, GLFW communicates to Vulcan that, hey, the window has, has been resized and you need to process accordingly, which in Vulcan terms means you have to destroy the old swap chain, recreate a new swap chain with, with appropriate um, images that can uh, accommodate the window size. And then also there are swap chain error codes in case there is an issue inside of the swap chain or inside of Vulkan. And these error codes help you help the developer to process accordingly, manage the situation. If there's something wrong, something happened in the system, that the, the application developer has a means of gracefully managing that. So that is tutorial number 10. This guy right here, tutorial number 10. And I have a link in the description below. It's a video walkthrough of um, code that is all should already be running on your machine because you, you did tutorial number one. It's running code and we walk through and discuss and there's notes um, how to actually do this and how this is done. There's also the situation where the person minimizes the window and when you minimize the window, basically you have a width and height of zero, right? There's, there's nothing to show. And Vulkan also has to um, process that accordingly. So just understand that GLFW is concerned with windowing. And this is the windowing system that is used by Vulkan to understand and know what's happening inside of presentation. So all of this guy right here is dealing with presentation. This is all presentation. All right. So that's uh, that's it for today, guys. Happy New Year to everyone. Um, I wish you guys the best in the new year, uh, 2021. Here we come. Uh, I hope uh, I hope everyone has their goals set out and is working to achieve them and to get whatever it is that they they want to get done. Um, make plans to get it done in 2021. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.